that I didn't do an intro to the following video. So I thought I would sit down and um, just say hello and kind of explain what I am working on and what you're going to see in the following video. Uh, I am working on a cute little sideboard. Um, I couldn't decide if it was a buffet, a dresser, or a sideboard. So I'm going with sideboard at this point. Um, on the back of it, it says commode. Uh, I don't even know what a commode, I mean, to me, that's a toilet. So I have no idea what to call this little piece. It's adorable. It's solid wood. It's got drawers and the top drawers actually have uh, the little dividers for utensils. And so I'm assuming it's supposed to be used as like a little buffet or sideboard. So that's kind of what I'm going with. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to tell you that's what I'm going to be working on. So I've done a little bit of, I took a couple pictures and you'll see that next of the before and uh, some video of me painting it and then putting a transfer on it and um, waxing it and then I put the hardware on it and then it's ta-da, all done. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully it's not too choppy and uh, or boring. That would be bad. Anyway, so let's get to it. And here it is. Super cute, little plain, and ready for paint. Taking off the hardware was pretty simple until I got to the top drawers and realized I had to cut through the velvet to get to the screws. So I was pretty happy when I finally got that done. And then here I am cleaning it. I use crud cutter and normally I will spray it down really good with crud cutter, wipe it off, and then I use my mister bottle and spray it with water just to make sure that I get all the crud cutter off and any paint or cleaner residue is removed. So there's that portion of it. What I did realize is I will never again take a video of the back side of me when I do these, always the front. Clean, clean, clean. I wanted to show you my paint I just mixed up. Um, this is O Olive. So it's a really nice, kind of sagey green. Um, it's just a really pretty color. Uh, goes really good with spring but then I thought with Christmas coming I didn't want anything too brashy or bold you know no pinks or oranges or anything like that so I thought this one would go really nicely um, with our Christmas stuff um, as we're going forward so we will see how it looks when it's done so now I'm gonna get painting So here we go with the painting. So just trying to keep my brush strokes nice and long and even, uh, put a good coat of paint on this and uh, make sure that I hit all the high spots and the low spots, make sure I don't miss anything. So I didn't record the whole thing and make you sit and watch it because that would be really boring. Um, so, but here's the highlights of me getting this piece painted. The O Olive did give me really good coverage, which I was super happy about. So this first coat went on um, really well and I just needed to do two. So here's the second coat going on. Again, just following my footsteps, making sure that everything is covered, uh, that I don't leave any drips or any runs. And then this is the piece after I took it outside and sanded it with my rotary sander with N220 grit sandpaper. So I didn't film this part just because I didn't want to have to take my whole rigmarole outside on the street and film. So I figured I would just show you what it looks like after I was done um, giving it a little distressing, trying to make it look a little aged. So and then next up is the transfer. I decided to quickly show you the transfer I'm going to be using today. This is called Midnight Floral. It's by Redesign by Prima. Super pretty transfer. And if you've never seen a transfer before, never used one, they come in tubes or in sheets. But what they are is basically a sticker and they're on this little piece of like vellum almost and they're on a backing. So you peel them up, you lay them down on your piece 
and then you rub the transfer in with this little stick and it adheres to the, your piece of furniture. So um, it's a pretty interesting process. I absolutely love using the transfers and I am going to get started cutting this out and getting ready to put it on the front of this little buffet. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So here I am with the transfer. First step is to peel it off that backing paper. Now you need to be really careful because it is sticky and if you accidentally touch it to your piece or put your finger on it in the wrong place, you can totally ruin the transfer. I've done it before and it sucks when it happens. Um, and then I'm carefully lining up the bottom cut edge with the, the bottom of the drawer where I want it making sure that it's centered perfectly and then slowly laying it down so that I know that when once it sticks it's good to go and I won't have to try and peel it back up because that makes a mess. So once it's down I smooth it down make sure that it's stuck and then I can start with the little transfer stick, rubbing it on and making sure that that image actually transfers off the vellum to the piece. So just start on one end and peel that vellum up, make sure that the, the transfer is stuck to the piece. And as it sticks, you peel the vellum back. It's a really simple process. Takes, a, I think this took me a, probably about 10 minutes. I was trying to be super careful. Um, but as you can see, like I said, it's a pretty simple process. You just rub, 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 peel, peel, peel. And, you know, if any of the transfer sticks to that vellum piece, you just lay it back down and rub, 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 and make sure that it, it sticks down again. Now with this piece, I did not seal it before I did the transfer because I'm gonna be using oil wax and a transfer will not stick to oil wax. So just be cognizant of that. Okay, well, it's time to put a finish coat on this. And I apologize, I already started with one of the drawers, but I was gonna show you, um, I'm using Sweet Pickens Oil Wax in clear. And so it comes in a container like this, a little bottle, and I pour mine out into just some sort of a little dish. And then I'm, I use a chip brush to apply mine. They're cheap um, and easy to find. And so uh, the nice thing about this is it cleans up with hot water and dish soap. So um, it, it's pretty easy if you do spill a little or, you know, you can clean up your brush pretty easily, not like with stains where you have to get out the mineral spirits. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, how you apply this is you just take some, get it on your brush, and paint it on and so you just want to make sure that you get your entire paint covered and then once you've painted this on you're gonna leave it set for probably 20 to 30 minutes and just let it really soak in and seal that paint um, and I find this gives the piece such a smooth beautiful finish um, I just I really like how this finishes off the milk paint. It is by far my favorite um, thing to use over milk paint. Um, and so just like that, I've, I've done that drawer and I'll just let it sit. Um, and I will show you in a little bit what it looks like when I take this back.
And here it is all finished. Hardware's on. I painted it with a gold um, Rust-Oleum spray paint and then gave it a good clear coat. And you can see that it's all nicely waxed. I took all the wax, oil wax back off. Um, transfer looks beautiful and I just love the way this piece came out. It is a super, super cute little sideboard.